Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soper over at Royal Appleberry, and today I am coming with um, a design I've never tried. I've never seen anybody do this. I just was sitting and watching um, a, acrylic paint techniques, and I said, you know what, I want to give this a go. And I didn't see anything like the one I'm going to do. I kind of took inspiration from the uh, dancing funnel. I may change my mind. I'm not sure how I want to do this yet. So. I'm just going to be playing around. The fragrance I'm going to be using is Sparkling Pomegranate uh, Prosecco by Rustic Essential. I think this is absolutely perfect for the colors that I picked here. So uh, this one I kind of want like a, a dark yellow, kind of like it is. I don't think I'm going to add anything to it. If I need to, I might add a dash of orange to it. And then here I want a tangerine, so I mix orange and red. And then I want this to stay the violet, the color that it is. So. As you can see, I'm going to be doing it in my slab mold. And, um, oh, I'm not stick blending anything. Everything's going to be hand stirred because it needs to be as fluid as possible. And I'm going to be using my squeeze bottle as well. So, once I get everything mixed and blended, I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, so of course there's going to be lots more um, stirring going on. I'm not going to sit here and do all that on camera. Uh, I'm going to make what's left. I'm going to make that white. Um, I need to scrape my sides a little bit because I soap at room temperature and it was pretty cold down here. So this has kind of solidified. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape that really good and get it to break down. I might have to take the sick blender to that just a couple of blasts just to get it blended in nicely. And then, um, we will start. I'm excited. So, be back in a second. Okay, doke. So now I got everything blended in. And now what I need to do is transfer these colors, um, into this bottle. I don't know which one I like first to go in first. But really, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. So, of course, I'm going to speed this up because this is going to take forever. Um, <laughs> and then I'll keep filling this bottle up over and over again. But um, I just hope that I don't run out of one color more than the other. And that's the thing, you know, by me using, I guess really it doesn't even matter. Because I was going to say I was going to weigh them, but then do I really want to do that? So I can really just count. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and start um, uh, fast forwarding this now. Please enjoy the music. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> and um, I think it's going to turn out nice. I really, really hope it's going to turn out nice. But yeah, I'm going to count. All of this is going to be counting just like I did with the uh, um, full funnel swirl. Full funnel? Dancing funnel. So, okay, um, enjoy the music. Okie doke, so now that I got this bottle filled up, of course, I'm going to repeat that same motion when it's time for me to refill. And I'm going to play around because I really don't know what type of base I want. I thought to do just one whole white base and then, I don't know, I just came up with a whole lot of different designs. But none of them are anything that I want to do. So, I'm just going to do this like the dancing funnel. And again... I don't, I don't know. I just don't know nothing, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna have to think this one through big time. So, again, enjoy the music, guys. If I switch it up throughout the process, that's just because something changed in my head. All right, so here we go.
Okay, I'm just taking a break to refill my bottles. And my colors, my white is thickening up, as you can tell. And um, my tangerine color is thickening up as well. Sorry about the noise. But they're still manageable. So I'm just going to give them a little whisk. And that's why I don't, um, I don't stick with them. Because you need them to stay as few as, as possible. So one should give it a little bit of a whisk. Nothing crazy. It'll kind of thin itself back out. And I don't care about mixing colors because as you can see, they're all mixed in anyway. So yeah, basically, um, oh, sorry, sorry guys, one sec. Um, that's it. I don't want to. I do have more left, but I don't want to keep messing with it because um, I'm getting pretty low. And as you see, when you get towards the end, then the air bubbles start to come out. So it's making a, a lot of air bubbles in this, and I don't like it. So I'm going to stop right here. But I'm very, very pleased with the way this turned out. Yes, I am. I'm super excited. So basically, it is a dancing funnel with a twist. <laughs> um, I'm going to try different techniques as well. Um, I'm just really, really fascinated by that pour uh, with acrylic paints. I even thought about doing acrylic paints as well, but I'm just like, seriously, um, you need to stop. So <laughs> I'm just trying to do too much. But again, I am in love with this. If I can get more out, I would like to use all of it, but I don't want to mess up my design and I'll do that off camera. So I'll bring you guys back when I do the unmolding, which will be attached to this video. So I'm going to pick this up and show you guys a close up. I really do like this. I'm going to bang the halibut out of it because I need to pop all these air bubbles. All right, guys. So hang tight. Um, and yeah, if you like this, please be sure to give a thumbs up. And also this uh, sparkling pomegranate Prosecco smells amazing. Makes me want to drink it. It really does. Um, again, that's from Rustic Essential. Really, really, really do like this fragrance. And it works well as well. So yeah, um, stay tuned for the unmelting. Okay, I popped back in because I totally forgot to put the dividers in and I was brushing because my battery is dying. So I'm going to go ahead and slap this in and then I got to get out of here. Hopefully my battery will hold up long enough for me to push this down in here. But yeah, that would have been kind of like, um, what do you mean unmolding? <laughs> or when I came back for the unmolding and then it was this divider in it. Some people who haven't saw me use his mold would have been a wee bit confused. So, these are lovely. <laughs> these are absolutely lovely. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yay! Okay, so I gotta go um, because this is gonna die soon. So, I'll see you guys for real this time on the unmolding. Bye. Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Sofer over at Royal Appleberry, and I am coming with the unmolding of my uh, pomegranate, sparkling pomegranate Prosecco. <laughs> um, so this has been sitting for two days and I don't the one thing I don't like I love the soap but one thing I don't like is how the colors look kind of muted um, I would have preferred for them to be a lot brighter but there's nothing I can do about that is it so I'm go ahead and take this mold apart so I can get enough room mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, they smell wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So I'm very, very pleased with that. All right, can't get it together. <laughs> Hope you guys had a fantastic New Year. Um, I normally don't do anything on New Year, just kind of hang around home, which is absolutely fine for me. I'm not one for going out to party and things like that. Did that years and years and years ago. Okay, I'm just having struggles with this mold today, and it's not the mold, it's me. <laughs> I didn't even know that side was off. Okay. Alright, there we go. So, I'm going to put 
take the sides off. Hopefully I don't poke my fingernails in it. There we go. Oh, wow. So one didn't unmold very good, which is odd. Well, two, because this mold is normally a maze boss. Maybe I just pulled too fast. I think that's what it was because they're firm. So maybe I should slow down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take my time. As you guys know that this mold is awesome, so I've never had any problems with taking any sides off. Yeah, I think I just pulled it too hard. I did. Oops. Okay. Just take your time. Just like that. And it comes off nicely. Wow, this smells good. I mean, it smells really, really good. these days I'll, I'll get around to making an actual five pound loaf in this mold because this mold will hold five pounds of soap but uh right now I'm pretty happy with my three pounds okay let's take this back off that should come off pretty easy I don't know why it's sticking Right, guys let me get this off and then I'll uh, bring you back because I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this mold today all right I had to have the power of a man <laughs> Gabe actually took all the dividers out and it was like really suctioned to the bottom but dotted up um, you can see so these are cute I think they're very fast for spring I'm just still not very pleased with the colors not popping the way I wanted them to but what can you do about that besides complain <laughs> that's not gonna help anyone but they are very very cute I'm very pleased with the way they look what do you think dude I like them and they smell great yeah they smell amazing <laughs> they really do smell good so that's my only complaint for today is the colors not being brighter and um, normally I don't uh, gel my soaps kind of feeling like that's the reason why the colors didn't pop I don't know but I still like them very cute so, so say bye Gabe, bye, Gabe. <laughs> so yeah um, that's it I don't know what these are gonna be named these will be ready today is actually the day before Christmas so uh, I know this is late but Merry Christmas everybody. I already said my New Year's wishes. <laughs> and, and I was forecasting what I'm going to do, which is what I do every year on New Year is, which is nothing. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys have a safe and wonderful New Year and had a great Christmas, spending time with your family. So, that's it guys. I am really not going to sit here and show you all the rest because you can plainly see them so <laughs> um love hugs and kisses be awesome and amazing at everything you do um thank you for watching thank you for subscribing uh hit that bell for notifications of whenever i post new videos and i will see you in the next making video who knows what that will be whether it be soap bath bombs bowl bars who knows all right guys see you later bye